so I guess now is the time to let you know how my life is so far. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I think it's about time. And it's raining. Oh, perfect. I should really think about what I said before I talk. I filmed this on my new G7X. The last one I had dropped. Luckily, I had insurance on it. State Farm Insurance is the bomb. And I have a brand new G7X. Can you tell the difference? Comment below if you can tell the difference of cameras I'm using. Speaking of cameras, I decided to upgrade my life. I got a new Canon 80D. That was fun, it's like Christmas come early. I got it for this new project I'm working on, which is why I'm here at AIM, which I'm not gonna quite disclose yet, but I'm gonna tell you basically what's happening in my life so far. So I kind of came to Gainesville with a plan. No wait, scratch that. I had no plan at all. Uh, I knew I was gonna find a job. Oh, whoosh. And that ends another day of teaching English to Chinese kids. This is now my line of employment. I do this from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Find a place to live. Did I mention that like I'm changing locales? and immerse myself in um, getting ready for this new project. We are partnering with a local, we are partnering with a local missionary and, oh my gosh. So I just finished filming an extra part for uh, this next project I'm gonna work on. Still I'm not gonna reveal that yet. And it's currently training camp right now. <laughs> oh, that's my first time vlogging like this on this giant camera. That's pretty cool. Stop raining, which is awesome. But re-entry is hard. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I got a job. Yeah, I had a place to live. Yeah, I got transportation. I got people that do me favors. But somehow my brain was not putting it all together in the right way. So I was reading Brene Brown's book, Rising Strong, and she talks about the stories we tell ourselves. And sometimes we can tell ourselves a story that doesn't match up with reality. That is what my brain was doing. I moved here to Gainesville, and I am trying this new career path. Both of those things I've done before, and I've kind of failed at them. Did not go the way I planned. My brain was probably trying to protect myself, and it was telling me stories to shield me from the eventuality of the pain that might happen if I do fail at these things again. My brain was telling me that if I moved to Gainesville, that I would not be successful. I wouldn't find a job. Everyone would kind of have to support me like a babysitter. And I just had a birthday. And at 29, you kind of want to take care of yourself. P.S. I'd like to say thank you to Walker, Haley, Elise, everybody else from my squad who came down for my birthday. Y'all made it awesome. Thank you very much. Read my mom's Instagram. <laughs> Okay. Here you go, you can open your card. Oh, yep, that's disgusting. Oh, you can go without that. Okay. I got a playlist. Yeah, Allie called that. But I had to look at the facts. All right, this is the story my brain is telling me, but what are actually the facts that is happening? One, I got a job. Two, I got a place to live. Three, people are taking care of me, but they're not doing it because I'm like an invalid. They're doing it because they believe in me and they want to help. So, yeah, I am making it in a new city. I'm doing great, and I'm making friends. That's awesome. In the career-wise, I tried my hand urban planning. I got a master's, I an internship, and that, it didn't work out for me there either. So with trying in a new career, my brain kind of went, well, you're gonna fail at that too. You're not working hard enough, you're too old, you can't learn all this, you're not learning fast enough. There's no way that you can make it in this, but wait, Let's check the facts. The facts are that one, I am in the right spot. I'm actually doing new projects. I am inputting a lot and learning a lot. And I have time to practice with new things and I'm preparing myself for this new adventure I'm going on. So I am doing fine. Yes, I need to give myself a little bit of grace. Taking this one step at a time. 
And I tend to overestimate what I can do in the short term and underestimate what I can do in the long term. So baby steps, one step at a time, I'll be, do I'll be doing great. It's funny how I even like, in during re-entry, forgot how to be a human being. I forgot how to have conversations with people. I forgot how to uh, interact socially with people. And it was funny because I was stuck in this weird rut. And then I made this movie, The Five Key Things to Succeed on, on the World Race. And it was funny because I was watching it and editing and it's like, I was literally talking to myself. Like those are the things I need to keep doing in my life. That was weird. It's weird when you start preaching and all of a sudden you're just talking straight to yourself on that one. So yeah, that's what's going on with Caleb. I had to check myself. And it's funny because the stories I was telling myself in my head weren't just about those two things. It was about so many other things. And anything I was trying to do, my head was trying to tell me something different. <sighs> so sometimes when you're going through a really rough spot, check yourself. Actually look at the facts of what's happening. Reevaluate what your new normal is and what reality is going on and understand that you are making positive strides in the right direction. I know I am. Even though it's really rough <laughs> and it took me two weeks to finally figure all this out, I finally got there. And God has taken me through amazing things and I just want to say he will continue to take me through amazing things. God has always been faithful and the Lord has walked me through really deep things and he will continue to be there for me. Also, I got to speak at training camp and that was kind of awesome. Also, shout out to uh, everyone I saw at training camp. You guys are awesome. Thanks for saying hi. I appreciate it. Have fun. I hope this caught all y'all up of what's happening. So my next video should show you what I'm doing next. So stay tuned. Peace. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you stay excellent to one another. All right. Peace. See you on the flip side. Oh, you're doing so awesome. You're doing such a good job. You're doing such a good job. Thank you. Can <laughs> Get the camera out of my face.